Hello everybody on YouTube. Joe Bruno here. I am working on very very big project that is uh, music and technology combined. Uh, since so oh gosh this is day 12. What's today's date? The uh, 20 no the it's the 29th or 30th, 30th of uh, March, 2020. I am in the midst of um, developing technology or the ability for musicians to perform simultaneously live, um, interactively jamming together by ear um, in real time. It's a very ambitious uh, project, um, but I know the technology's out there. It's just the need hasn't been until now. And uh, I've uh, been reaching out to uh, various people, uh, just uh, finished talking with, uh, just got off a video conference with uh, guys at Video, V-I-D-Y-O, uh, uh, Michael Smith and Derek Butt um, in a conference call using their platform pretty cool but uh, anyway and uh, also getting some advising from Michael time Michael Tiemann uh, he's a uh, uh, acquaintance from uh, several for the last several years uh, um, and uh, we're just trying to you know get things uh, put together to see if we can actually do a simultaneous concert with Dovidas, and um, that's another thing that I'm working on here is to get the Dovidas band together from different locations all in the Tampa Bay area, uh, sharing a local server, which will be put together on a virtual enterprise network, okay, and uh, that's basically the, the idea, the whole thing is to create a virtual enterprise network apparatus or application that would enable us to... Um, as musicians to be able to put together an uh, enterprise network without having to go through an IT department. <laughs> so uh, it's very ambitious and um, it involves uh, Go Tonight, um, Sherry and Chuck Englehart, uh, Don McKeon uh, is involved with me. He's the founder of Go Tonight and uh, he, I've been involved with him since before Go Tonight started on on the, the Go Tonight platform, which is currently out there. Um, anyway, uh, also, uh, you know, Go Tonight is going to be launching a uh, listing service for online concerts. That's coming up, uh, I believe, this week. I called them last week, said you've got to do this, and uh, and so. Uh, they have been talking with other people about it too, including I believe Steve Arby and one other person that wanted to do a, like a, a private event. But I said just put this thing online, make it available to the whole world, uh, to where you know if they're doing an online concert, they can go and go tonight and list it. But anyway, that is something different. Getting back to the original concept, um, we hope to develop this tool relatively quickly. Um, and this way, uh, ultimately, you will be able to see a church choir singing from remote locations without endangering themselves uh, to bring music uh, to a church service live without having to put the songs together and create the little boxes and sync everything together, you know, um, which I'm sure is, it, people can do right now. There are uh, apps that will do that. My thing is about real-time, live, local and uh, to make it happen all over the world using uh, uh, open source, which is what I'm looking at right now, and uh, I will have to reach out uh, to the telecoms, to all the wireless carriers, to see if they can uh, participate in this. Uh, right now, our goal is to save the planet and keep people sane right while we're in lockdown for the next several weeks or longer. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be until a live band is going to be able to perform to bring people together in a in a closely, you know, uh, closely knit room. It might be a year. Who knows how long it's going to be? Um, but uh, 
being able to stream and uh, use platforms such as YouTube to uh, show our, our streaming is fine. But again, the, the whole gist of this technology is to enable musicians, singers, gospel musicians, whatever, uh, orchestra players to be able to put on a set of headphones and hear the people they're playing with at the same time without any latency or very little. Um, so, um, uh, and to be able to do it on a smartphone, which again, that's where their ambition really comes in. Uh, we can do it on a computer already, but uh, that's very expensive. And um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's what I'm working on right now. And uh, I'll give you all updates as things uh, grow in this. I'm, I'm sure all of you people playing together, especially the bass players, or playing together, playing by yourselves, uh, would, uh, you know, would love to be able to play with other people and the drummers and all the background musicians and, uh, and the singers, you know, not being able to play, especially if you don't play piano or guitar. Uh, it'd be really nice if you had someone playing with you uh, without you know, having to spend a boatload of money to do so. So uh, anyway, Joe Bruno signing off until next time.